With so many aspects of our lives shutting down, it can be reassuring to see some things keep going. First mission for the United States Space Force. A successful mission on Thursday launched from Cape Canaveral in Florida with a $1.4 billion communication satellite on board. And we have jettison of all five SRBs. Other parts of the space industry, though, are dealing with astronomical headaches, just like everybody else. We understand that the International Space Station may possibly be the safest place on Earth over the next few months. The next men to leave the planet have been under heavy quarantine in Russia's star city, forced to say goodbye to their families several weeks ahead of schedule. That's to ensure they don't bring COVID-19 to the International Space Station next week. It's really interesting. It, it's none like any other time in our in our lives as a generation, really, right? Like to me, it, this is goes into where were you when JFK was shot? Where were you when you landed on the moon? And where were you when coronavirus was happening? And I'll have my own interesting story to tell in, in years to come. For nearly a decade, the U.S. has relied on Russia to fly its astronauts into low Earth orbit. But that will change in a few weeks if all goes according to plan. Go on to for grab sample container. NASA and the private American aerospace company SpaceX say the launch of a crewed mission will go ahead in mid to late May, regardless of the pandemic back on Earth. There's a lot riding on the mission, giving the U.S. the capacity to send its own people into space once again. Timelines for other missions will certainly have to be pushed back. Three, two, one. Ignition. NASA's new Orion spacecraft is scheduled to take the next man and first woman to the lunar surface in 2024. NASA is also building the world's most powerful rocket to get them there, and then hopefully to Mars. But the plant producing the rocket is just outside of New Orleans, which has one of the highest rates of new coronavirus infections in the world. The agency shut nearby rocket production and testing facilities on March 19th, then others across the country to protect its workforce. When you work on a rocket, a lot of people have to work very close to each other, um, and that could have that could have really spread quickly. It's even affecting spacecraft already millions of kilometers from Earth. The European Space Agency has put eight of them in what's known as hibernation mode because of reduced staffing, and has suspended its launches indefinitely. Even with delays on the next generation of their spacecraft, NASA astronauts are busy performing a different public service, sharing advice on how to cope with isolation at home after they survive the isolation of space. Some of it is just connecting, you know, reaching out and, and doing a video call with family and friends or, or working on a project. You know, when I was on orbit, I'd do crossword puzzles uh, with my boys over a video chat. Advice that we can all use right now, no matter where we are in the universe. Andrew Chappelle, Al Jazeera.